welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. You are in store for a WW meal prep, you guys. My recipes this week are stellar. I have an amazing breakfast, a delicious lunch, and an absolutely divine snack. I cannot wait to share all three recipes with you. So if you want to see what I have in store for meal prep this week on the My WW Green Plan, just stay tuned. P.S. I will be showing the points for all three plans. For breakfast this week, I'm going to be making strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. Doesn't that sound so good? Let me show you what is in our overnight oats. First, you're going to need some milk or milk alternative of your choice, non-fat Greek yogurt, I'm going to be using sugar-free honey. You can really use whatever sugar-free alternative that you want to use. You can also use regular honey. You would just need to count the points for it. But I really like this Nature's Hollow sugar-free honey. I buy this off of the Nettrition website. The link for that is down in the description box. You can actually have an entire tablespoon of this for one smart point, where traditional honey is four smart points. So it's a great alternative. It tastes great. It gives that kind of a lure of honey. It's just not as sweet, but it's an actually great substitute for honey. So I'm going to be using this. And again, this is from Nettrition. Link is down in the description box. And then also some vanilla extract, salt, whatever jars or containers you would like to put your overnight oats in. You can either use fresh or frozen strawberries. The fresh strawberries at my store looked horrible because it's the dead of winter here. So I went ahead and bought whole strawberries that are frozen instead. A lemon, fat-free or reduced fat cream cheese, and you can do chia seeds or flax meal, whatever you prefer. I just happen to have chia seeds on hand. So let's put together this strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. And oats, my friends, you definitely need oats for overnight oats. So let's get started on our overnight oats. So I'm gonna let you guys know that my ball jars are pretty small. So the original recipe is too much to fit into my ball jar. So I'm gonna be modifying the original recipe a little bit to make it fit. So I'm going to give you the smart points for the original recipe, and then I'm gonna give you the smart points for my version, which is less because of the size of my ball jar. So this is a great reminder that I need to go ahead and pick up a some bigger ball jars. So let's get started on what the original recipe says, and then I'll show you what I'm going to be doing as far as modification. So the original recipe calls for two thirds of a cup of your almond milk or milk of your choice. I'm literally going to put in about a quarter of a cup because that's all the space that I have. So quarter of a cup of the almond milk. As far as the non-fat Greek yogurt, the original recipe calls for two thirds of a cup, or I'm sorry, one third of a cup. I'm again going to just put in a little bit. So probably the total of about two tablespoons, maybe a little over two tablespoons of the Greek yogurt, just for space reasons. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in my oats. I am going to be using the quarter of a cup that the recipe called for. I can fit the quarter cup in my jar here. I had already modified that down a little bit from the original recipe. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of chia seeds versus about a tablespoon of chia seeds. Same with the cream cheese. The original recipe wants three tablespoons. I'm going to add just about a tablespoon of my fat-free cream cheese. And again, that's just what I have space for in my jar. And then I'm going to add just a splash of vanilla extract. So that's not a big issue because it's zero point. So just the tiniest bit of that. And then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of my honey. So this is my sugar-free or my honey alternative. So I'm going to do about a tablespoon of that. And then I am going to go ahead and do a pinch of salt like the recipe calls for. And then I went ahead and zested my lemon and squeezed half of it lemon juice. So I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the zest and a little bit of the juice, and that's going to just really brighten up these oats. And then lastly are my frozen strawberries. So what I'm gonna do is just stick these in here um, up to the top until my jar is full. I can get about four or five strawberries, depending on the size, into my jar. 
So there you have it. So there's my little modification of the original recipe in my smaller bowl jar here. So let me get these put together and I'll be back to give you the points for the original recipe and for my little mini version here. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide All right, so here are our strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. These look incredible. So the original recipe, if you followed it to a T, it will be linked down in the description box below. It is going to be eight smart points on the green plan, seven on blue, and five on purple. And that is the original recipe, and it's literally about double the amount that you have here other than the oat amount is the same but the way that i made mine only because i really had to lower the amount of everything the only thing i used the amount of that was in the original recipe was a quarter cup of the oats which i had modified down from half of a cup anyway so my overnight oats are four smart points the only thing that i have to count points for is two smart points for the oats one point for the chia and one point for the sugar-free honey so this version of mine is four smart points. I will type out my version down below as well for you guys so that you have a visual of mine for points if you wanted to do four smart points or the original recipe for eight smart points on the green plan. And I will include the points for the other plans as well. So this is going to be my four smart point breakfast. I am going to pair this with an egg for an additional two smart points. So my breakfast will ring in at six smart points. For lunches this week, I'm going to be making a grilled chicken, avocado, and mango salad. I'm so excited about this, you guys. It sounds so delicious. So let me show you what is in my salad. First, you're going to need some lettuce. So I'm gonna be using hearts of romaine. The original recipe actually called for butter lettuce, but my store had none. So I went with hearts of romaine. And then I'm gonna to toss in some baby kale as well, just to kind of bulk up the greens. White balsamic vinegar salt and pepper any type of oil i have avocado oil you could also use olive oil the chicken that i'm going to be using is these grilled chicken strips from costco so these are already pre-grilled they are delicious so if you do have a costco or a sam's club highly recommend they taste amazing if you do not have these you would just simply want to grill up some chicken breast cut it into strips and make some chicken strips for your salad but i'm going to go ahead and use these since i have them on hand two mangoes, a red onion, and then you're also going to need some avocado. I do have another avocado in my fridge as well. So let's get started on our lunches. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and chop up our red onion. I'm gonna dice up about half of this. And then we are going to do our mangoes. And I'm gonna show you a trick that I was told about from one of my amazing subscribers on how to peel a mango here with a glass. So you may know this trick. I did not, and I hate peeling mango. So let's do the onion, and then I'll show you the fun trick for the mango. I can hide, hide uh, what this is. Uh, uh, yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes, and you can tell me all of your lies. All right, so we're going to try this. This is real life, guys. If this doesn't work, not my fault. So we have our mango pieces here. I will caution you, my mango is not very ripe. So I think it would be a lot easier if your mango was a little bit more ripe. But you're supposed to take a glass. Oh gosh, I don't know what piece to do. Okay, let's try this one. And you're supposed to just tuck the glass kind of under the skin. Oh, look at that. It works. Okay, tuck to see that how I have this, the glass kind of tucked under the skin of my mango. And then I'm just sliding the glass down my mango oh my gosh that's so crazy so mine again is not very ripe unfortunately so it takes a little bit more pressure um supposedly if it's really ripe it literally just slides off but look at that skin 
mango. So that's pretty darn awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my pieces done. So there's a hack, a life hack. So thank you to my subscriber who shared that with me. I'm just going to slice my mango into little bits here. And this is what we're going to top my salad with. dressing for our salad. So you're going to need whatever oil you want to use. Again, I have avocado oil. The salad recipe or the dressing recipe makes four servings. I actually need five servings because I'm going to be making a salad for every day this week. So I'm just going to divide the two tablespoons by four. And so I'm going to actually add in two and a half tablespoons of my avocado oil. And that way I have enough for five servings. We're then gonna do the same thing with our white balsamic. So we want two and a half tablespoons because again, I'm making five servings of that. Now you can use regular balsamic vinegar. To be honest with you, I don't know what the difference is between white and the regular. If you know, leave that down in the comments for us. But I'm gonna use the white since I had it on hand and that's actually what the recipe had called for. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. And that's kind of to your taste. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of each. We're going to give this a nice big stir. And then we're just going to set this aside because this is our vinaigrette that's going to go over our salad when it is done. All right, so to put together our salad, on my food scale here, I weighed out three ounces of the grilled chicken strips from Costco. I have my meal prep bowl out here. I have both my lettuces, my romaine, and my baby kale. So I'm gonna put everything onto my salad directly, except for the dressing and the uh, avocado, because I want to do that fresh when I go to eat it. So I'm gonna put some romaine, and I'm just kind of just kind of eyeballing, filling it up, and then I'm gonna put some baby kale, and I'm kind of ripping my baby kale, even though it's small, into a little bit smaller pieces before adding it to my salad. All right, so we've got our kale, we have our romaine. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything on here. So I have my diced up red onion. So I'm just going to put that, and you can put as much or as little as you like. I love red onion so much. And then I have my three ounces of chicken here. So I'm just gonna apply that directly on top of my salad. And then that way I can weigh it out each for each salad here on my food scale. And then I have my diced up mangoes. So I want to have enough for five servings. So I'm just gonna kind of put about a fifth of the mangoes here on my salad. Oh my gosh, you guys, yum. Look at this. This looks amazing. And then before I go to eat it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my one smart point worth of avocado. So look at this. This looks absolutely delicious. So the avocado, I would definitely recommend cutting when you go to eat it. You want a total of one cup of diced avocado. So that's gonna be about two avocados, maybe a little bit less, and that's what's figured into the smart points. And now let's put together the dressing, get it in a little container, and then we'll put the rest of these salads together. But you guys, I'm so excited for this. So I have my vinaigrette here, and again, I want enough for five salads. So I'm gonna start with about a spoonful and a half, and that doesn't look like very much, but when you add it to the salad, I think that's gonna be perfect. And I should be able to get, just a titch more, I should be able to get five salads out of this dressing. So I'm gonna pop my lid on these little reusable containers I purchased at Home Goods. I do have some linked down in my Amazon store as well. And then I'm simply going to pop that into my salad put the lid on this and we are good to go. And then right before I eat it, I'll go ahead and add some of my diced avocado. And then that way our avocado stays nice and green and doesn't get brown by sitting in our fridge. But this looks amazing. So let me put together the other four salads and I'll be back to show you my lunch and give you the smart points. lunches for the week. You guys, I am so excited. 
I'm still craving salad, so this is going to hit the spot. So I have one of my chicken avocado mango salads with the dressing. This is four smart points on the green plan. The points for the other plans will be here on the screen, but that's it, you guys. The only thing you have to count points for is the chicken, and chicken is so low point, even on the green plan. I think it's two points for the three ounces, and then probably an additional two points for the dressing due to the oil. So this is a four smart point salad. Yum, with mango, red onion, chicken. Should be nice and filling. And then I also have some cuties. I may have one or two of those, since this isn't really enough of mango to count as a fruit for me. So I'll probably have a couple of cuties. And then for dessert, I'm having Smart Sweets. I have been craving these. So again, another thing, since this is so low point at four points, this is gonna be perfect. So I have all the flavors, the sweet fish, which is like the Swedish fish. These are the fruity gummy bears, which are like your just traditional gummy bears. The peach rings are my very favorite. I also have the sour gummy bears. And then the sour blast buddies are like Sour Patch Kids. And you guys can have this entire package of candy it only has three grams of sugar in it it is over an ounce of candy for three smart points that's it no matter what flavor you choose three points i love the peach rings i love the sweet fish i actually love them all the only one that is not my favorite are the sour bears i actually like the sour blast buddies but the sour bears just really aren't my favorite but anyways, three points, you guys, for an entire bag of candy. I do have a code for free shipping. It's here on the screen for you. If you want them delivered to your doorstep, otherwise they do sell them at some stores. I honestly just order on their website. It's less expensive and it's free shipping anyways with my code. So pick up some smart sweets. It's a great thing to take to the movies, to throw in your lunch, your kids' lunch, kids' love these and for only three grams of sugar and three smart points you can't beat it so three for the smart sweets zero for the cuties four for the salad this is a seven smart point lunch for a snack this week i'm going to be making banana blueberry bars these sound so good let me show you what is in our bars first you're going to need some rolled oats not quick cook but just regular rolled oats oat flour yes you can substitute regular flour if you do not have oat flour apple juice vanilla extract nutmeg and cinnamon you'll need some dates three bananas some walnuts my walnuts are from nutstop there is a link down in the description box for 10 percent off of your order from nutstop i love them they are so inexpensive they have a ton of WW friendly products plus nuts. I do not have an affiliate link. I don't receive a kickback, but the company is offering you guys 10% off. So definitely check out Nutstop in the description box and then some blueberries. So let's get started on this snack. So the first thing that we need to do is take one and a half cups of apple juice. I have seven dates that I've pitted and sliced in half. And what I'm gonna do is put the dates into the apple juice. I know this seems weird, but we do wanna soak the dates in the apple juice for about 10 to 15 minutes. And while they're soaking, we're gonna put together some of the rest of the batter for the bread, but add your seven dates. Ooh, we're getting full, guys, there we go. Add your seven dates to your apple juice and just set that aside and let it soak. While our dates are soaking, I went ahead and pulled out a medium bowl. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my two cups of my oats and my one cup of my oat flour. And then I'm also going to add in some delicious nutmeg. And again, you do this to your liking. I, as you know, like my food really flavorful. So I tend to go a little crazy with the seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little bit of extra nutmeg and then this here is cinnamon to my mix. And then we're just gonna give this a stir and set this aside. And it, next up, we need to pull out a blender. I'm just gonna use my little magic bullet and we have to blend together our bananas and things to make a puree. Next up is pureeing down these bananas. So we're gonna go ahead and add our bananas to our magic bullet. I'm gonna do three at a time. And I'm also going to add in about, well, what's left of my vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna throw this on my magic bullet and get this blended. I want these to be pretty pureed. And then once I have a little more room, I'll pop in the other three bananas. So I ended up adding a little bit of that apple juice to my bananas just to get them nice and pureed. Oh, that looks so delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bananas here in a separate bowl while I get ready to do the rest of my blending just because I decided to go with this small magic bullet. 
Hindsight, I would have went with a full-size blender, so I would recommend that if you have one. Otherwise, you'll just have to do it in batches, kind of like I'm doing here with my magic bullet. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove my dates from my apple juice and set those aside. So I'm just gonna put them here on my board. And then that way I'll have left in here is my apple juice. Ooh, they're already nice and soft from sitting in that juice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this apple juice into my magic bullet. I gave that a quick mix with the bananas that was left in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add back in my dates. And I'm gonna puree this on again until my dates are nice big chunks mixed in here with my apple juice. And again, if you use a full size blender, you would have just left this banana mix in there as well. So I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. So my battery died and what I had done while my battery was dead and I had to swap it out for a new battery is I took my dry oat mixture and I just poured in that apple juice and date mix as well as that banana puree and I'm just making sure this is nice and mixed together. So that's what you missed. So I apologize. I didn't realize it had died mid mid mixing. And then once that's mixed together, we're going to go ahead and add in half of a cup of our chopped up walnuts and half of a cup of our frozen or fresh blueberries. You really could do either one. And we're gonna give that a stir, get those nice and incorporated. You don't wanna over mix your batter because then your bread becomes spongy. So we just wanna make sure everything gets nice and incorporated. And then we're ready to get this into our baking dish. So what I did is put a sheet of parchment paper just in the bottom here of my baking dish. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my bread mix here. And what's great about this is by using the parchment paper here in the bottom, we'll just pull out the sheet of paper and our bars will come right out. So it just makes it really easy and a little bit easier to pull the bars out and for cleanup as well. Nothing is stuck to the bottom of your pan. So get that delicious oat mixture in there. We're gonna go ahead and spread that out as even as possible. We're gonna put this into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or just until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. So it is gonna vary depending on your oven. I have a convection oven, so mine usually cooks a little bit faster. So just keep an eye on it, insert a toothpick, and when it comes out clean, your bars are ready to go. banana bars are nice and cooled. So what I did is I cut these into 12 servings. That is the serving size that I decided to do to keep the smart points reasonable. So let me pop one of these out of the pan and show you what it looks like. These are thick, you guys. I mean, I'm so excited. They smell so delicious. So let me pop one out and I'll show you what the completed bar looks like. So here are the bars, you guys. Yum. Look at that thick, delicious. I mean, this bar is great size and it is super thick. So this is just a small dessert plate and it is really, really good size. You can see all the oat, cinnamon, yummy blueberryness. Oh, I'm so excited about these bars, you guys. So again, these bars make 12 servings. Each serving is five smart points on both green and blue for the bar that is not bad i think it'd be really good for breakfast or as a dessert you could top it with a little bit of the fat free ready whip and it would make a fabulous dessert and they are only four smart points a piece on the purple plan due to the fact that you don't have to count the oats but you guys this is a whole food nutritious item there is no sugar alternative your sweetness comes from the bananas and the dates it is literally like a as real whole food as you can get and oh my gosh, this looks so good. So this I'm pretty sure is gonna be my dessert for tonight. But yep, 12 servings, five smart points on both blue and green and four on purple. So here's what I'm gonna be having for snacks this week. Yes, I pulled the whole box out from Costco. I wanted to show you guys the points and the different kinds. So let's jump right into that. So I picked up these rice crisps at Costco. 36 bags, they were on sale. Here's a little tip for you if you're new. Take a Sharpie and mark your food with the smart points. That way, at a glance, you know exactly what you're having. So in this box, there is 10 bags of the caramel. They are four smart points a piece. 10 bags of the cheddar for three a piece. 
the ranch there's eight bags for four and then there's eight bags of the apple cinnamon for five these ones are pretty high so the bags are good size though here let me show you guys and then I just generally will put these in my pantry and then I can grab one out as a snack so here's the bag size generally it's about an ounce or so but not a bad size so there's all the different ones that you get in the box so i'm going to have these as a snack this week and i'll probably pair that with one of these now you guys you have to get these if you have a costco by you because they are amazing first off look how huge these are they're literally over 12 inches long these are the chicken snack sticks from green ridge farm naturals they also have a beef but you guys this entire chicken stick this whole thing is two smart points that's it and it is so good oh my gosh the other day i had two of them for lunch and it was perfect they are so incredibly delicious if you want to get the beef stick i have not had those i think i'm going to get those next they are three smart points a piece but for this huge ginormous beef stick for only two smart points it is a fantastic snack so again i got these at costco so i'm probably going to pair a two point stick with a bag of these as a snack so it'll be anywhere from a five to eight smart point snack just kind of depends on what one of my rice crisps i choose I don't see myself eating these. So I'll probably give those to my hubs. But that is my snack I'm going to do for the afternoon. Huh, yum. And then for my morning snack, of course, is a Built Bar. I have one of these every single morning without fail because it is the one thing that keeps me full between breakfast and lunch. This is the Coconut Almond. And you guys, if you like Almond Joy mounds, especially Almond Joy, this is legit an Almond Joy for three smart points three the chocolate is amazing it has little bits of coconut and almonds in it it is seriously it's legit an almond joy and it's three smart points 130 calories 18 grams of protein seven fiber and five fat so it definitely keeps you full that is exactly why i like it as a morning snack and then it has only three grams of sugar but it is an almond joy and built bars are absolutely amazing again this is the coconut almond i love the peanut butter the peanut butter is four points but it has real peanut butter and chunks of peanuts so good but all the other flavors of built bar are only three smart points and they are delicious i love the double chocolate the co regular coconut is so good the raspberry there's orange salted caramel vanilla you name it they have it so head on over to built bar if you're looking for a really good protein bar that tastes like a candy bar not a protein bar built bar is the way to go my code here on the screen will give you 10 percent off and free shipping and you can head over and pick out whatever you would like i recommend getting the sample box if you're brand new to built bar that way you can try out all the flavors when you find your favorite you can buy full-size boxes but you guys I think this is my number one must have on my WW journey because I eat one literally every day, sometimes two, and they are only three smart points. So save my code as well because you can use it over and over. So head over to Built Bar, pick some up. You won't be sorry. Morning snack, delicious afternoon snack. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you guys are as excited about these three recipes as I am because let me just tell you, everything is so incredibly delicious. All three recipes with the points for all three plants are linked down in the description box below. Also in the description box are all of the discount codes, links to my favorite things, so definitely check out the description box below. Lastly is the link to my Facebook group. So if you are not part of my Facebook group, we would love to have you join us. It is such a wonderful, positive place to be with almost 13,000 members who are encouraging, loving, kind, and there to answer your questions and give you a ton of support on your WW journey. So definitely head on over and join us on my Facebook group. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you stick around and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. You don't want to miss a single one. Thumbs up if you love meal preps and comment down below. I want to hear what is the one recipe that you are most excited to make for yourself. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another meal prep and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.